welcome on back to Baseless Claims, our casual, conversational comedy podcast. My name is Tay, comma, I don't fucking know. Oh, well, my name is Tori. I feel like my time's been wasted, Thompson. Okay, I mean, I just started the podcast. You don't have to fucking lay into me one goddamn second. No, 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 no. It's not you. It's not you. It's oh, fully. Okay. This is fully on Tyler right now. That's I am having oh, a beef with okay. Tyler. So you okay. are in the clear on this one. Okay, because okay. like, because you can see where I would be confused with that because you said that immediately following my intro. Yeah. Also, immediately following Tyler's bullshit. Go ahead, say your name, Tyler. I'll give you that courtesy. Okay. <laughs> So this is the episode I'm getting. I'm getting bullied, right? Oh this God! This is the episode yes. that you're just kind of a piece of shit. See, we, we always record. We know it's kind of sad that we record the show at six. It was originally six thirty, but Tyler really pushed it up to six. That was his big idea. So I rush home from work, just trying to make it back on time. I, you know, I'm hungry. Got to eat something before we record the show. And what do I have to do in twenty minutes? make a bunch of pizza rolls in an air fryer and just shove them down my fucking gullet at record speed. I remember pouring them onto my fucking paper plate, how sad that meal was, onto my paper plate and going, no way in hell am I going to be able to finish all these little pizza pockets. But I didn't fucking record time so that I could be here to record the goofs with my good friends. And then what do we get at, ah, uh, what, like 5.58? Tyler saying, uh, my dinner's taking a little bit long. Probably will be at like 6.30. At this point, I am chock full of pizza rolls. I am sweaty. Now my <laughs> body hurts and I feel like I need an exorcism for these nasty pizza treats. I, you, I feel like you're blowing this way out of proportion. No. <laughs> I don't think I am because I usually, feel weird and sweaty now from all of my pizza rolls. Usually I am 100% on board with building up a bit and like keep yes anding and keep going with it but like as evidence right now <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> shut like, up tyler dog they're just pizza rolls chill you tell that to my sick aching body i mean that's a decision you chose you can tori you can just say hey uh like i i need a minute to like eat dinner before i record you can say that sorry i have a modicum of respect for other people okay and knowing your first grade tummy vocabulary you could always just make a peanut butter sandwich to snack on before the show and then after the show make your pizza pockets you could just have a little snacky poo beforehand or you can just say hey i need a minute like we never set hard rules that you can't eat i would recommend ants on a log but i think the celery would actually kill you well, celery is just a disgusting vegetable. I think we can pretty much all agree with there, that. that. It's there, fine that as an is. aromatic or in a soup or something, but if you're just eating celery, you're going to hell, and that's a fact. Yeah, I yeah. don't no know does. if you have the authority to say it works well as an aromatic in a soup when you just fucking air fried a bunch of pizza pockets and shoved them down your gullet with no regard for your personal well-being. Well, Tay, I'm sure that you're always cooking nice homemade dinners every night. You're never eating food out of the oven, are you? I no, I'm not. I wasn't on board until Tay said Tori had no regard for his human corporeal form, <laughs> aka the body he inhabits. And then I was like, yeah. okay, I can get on board with that because yeah, if you if you're if you're shoving down twenty rolls in record time, I I think your body is your last concern at that <laughs> point. I don't think you're thinking of the the future consequences. Well, the future consequences came but, like, what, 10 minutes later? You know, when uh, when my stomach, I heard it, let's say I heard it load into the chamber. <laughs> and it was like, uh-oh, this ain't going to be good. And now I just feel very, I just have, like, residual sweatiness. That was too many rolls too fast. That's a mistake you don't make twice. I, I love the part of the podcast when we talk about our meat sweats. That's that's my favorite part. My my, my Totino sweats. <laughs> my Totino's perspiration. Meat sweats are a real thing, but that's when you see uh, someone just absolutely packing a fat fucking log in their Levi's, <laughs> and you, ha you just have to admire from across the street. What Tori is experiencing <laughs> I, I is... Don't, I really don't think that's what meat sweats means. <laughs> <laughs> that's what meat sweats means. <laughs> well, every day's a school day, huh? Uh... What Tori is experiencing is is called the uh, Totino's trauma. Yeah, Totino's trauma is good. Do you think that 
Totino's once had someone in marketing think like, hey, you know what? Those Gatorade commercials where they're sweating the Gatorade are pretty cool. What if we made one, but it was spaghetti <laughs> sauce? You know when like the side of the pizza roll bursts open and it kind of goos out <laughs> a little bit? What if we had, okay, picture this. We get an NFL player, <laughs> mm-hmm. and we yep, just cover him board. in our sloppy sauce. We get Tom Brady, and Tom Brady put, throws put him in the oven for a minute longer than he should be. <laughs> we get Tom Brady. He throws a big football touchdown pass. Well, not that big. <laughs> it's a big score. Well, yeah, because he deflated it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, really good callback humor to whenever that was. Y'all remember Deflategate? Yeah, everyone's hot on Deflategate. Everyone still knows about that. Uh, yeah. And then afterwards, he just turns around, takes off his helmet, and the boy is just sweating mozzarella sauce, and it's really <laughs> thick. And he's just like, oh, I was only able to throw that big touchdown pass thanks to Totino's. And then you see in the end zone, uh, a pizza roll caught his big touchdown pass, and Mm -hmm. they did win the big game. And Tom Brady celebrates by kissing the pizza roll with tongue directly in the pocket and then switches up to his son. Him and and his son do like a full Lady and the Tramp on one pizza roll. Yeah, Uh, their tongues go through the pizza roll that's bursting out. Well, one, that's that's sick on many levels, but one, that's going to burn the hell out of you the inside of your mouth. I can guarantee you that one. But Tom Brady is so in love with his son, it doesn't matter. He'll he'll fight through the pain to get that tongue in his son's mouth. Uh, Has he got a kissable son? Whoa. Nope. (laughs) I don't think any, I don't think any son under the age of 18 in the United States of America and abroad would be described as like kissable. The only thing you can do, you could describe kissable is like an adult, a legal adult, or like a baby. Like, oh, you have such a little kissable baby. I just want to kiss him on the forehead. I, Anything I in between. Even go with the baby. You did pass my test. I'll give you that one. But dog is also <laughs> one of them. But. Anything in between, well, we're talking humans. Dogs, obviously, are very extremely kissable. Always kissable. Especially the bounty hunter. <laughs> I, That's the I most kissable believe, one. I can't believe you set that up. That joke you crafted in your little tiny brain there. Sorry, I'm mm-hmm. being mean this podcast. My pizza roll-filled brain? Your yeah. pizza roll-filled brain. Sorry, I, I just have to say, like, what... What a great job from Tay, who was just self-described as, usually I'm always inside the bit. Like, I'm mm-hmm. always in there, this yes, and This episode is different, baby. Hey, Tay, you can give me the rug back. I had it right under me, but you did yank it out by, by saying that I set up a joke when actually it's called wit. Fuck your that joke wit. came to fuck me. Fuck your rug. Fuck you. Fuck the... Hey, fuck. Maybe pizza rolls or it gave me a superpower. Maybe it's pizza rolls or this goof juice I'm sipping on. Anyway, my name is Tyler. Pretty bummed out, Matheson. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, Tyler. We're really happy to have you on this episode. Thank you. What's got you down, bud? Well, I'm just pretty sad. It's like America's royalty just died. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian are getting a divorce. It just bums uh, me out. You know what separation makes me feel even worse than that? My parents. Fucking Daft Punk, my guy. Oh, fuck those French idiots. Oh, whoa! Whoa! (laughs) Whoa, Tori, what the fuck is wrong with you? Tori has no opinion on either side of the fence and right now just said that to (laughs) see what you would say. They just fucking play their MacBooks like Mickey Mouse or whatever his name is, that guy that you like. (laughs) Fuck you. The guy with the the big mouse ears. I don't know if he had them, like, surgically installed or if it's, like, like prosthetics, but, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy. The one that doesn't take his helmet off at every show, but yeah. But, like, (sighs) Daft Punk isn't American royalty. They're French, and they're a band, and they aren't... Yeah, they'll go down in history, but they aren't icons. Like, they're... You never see them. You never hear from them. They're radio silent all the time. Whereas Kim K and Kanye West, like... That's the royal family of America right there. And they they just split up. I wholeheartedly disagree just based on fundamentals as who they are as people and what they do as people. But, you know. Well, yeah, that's all right. I mean, we'll give you this one because normally you like to build on it. Um, but 
Like I said, this episode is different. This this is the episode. I don't think it's too different. I don't think it's too different. <laughs> That's the joke we're making. <laughs> so, Tyler, what do you think upsets you the most about, like, what is it that's really sort of ripping at your soul about this beautiful couple breaking up? I just remember my parents' divorce and, like, uh-huh. you know, yeah. what that did to me. Um, mm-hmm. Something Tay can't really relate to. Yeah, get uh, over it, idiot. So... You know, it just bums me out that, like, I, I, if I was having a rough day, I could always think, like, how I imagine people in ye old London town think when they're having a rough day. They're like, well, I shat in me knickers, but at least I still got the queen. <laughs> That's exactly what they all think. And we've been, so we can definitely co- corroborate that story. But the, we, when we had bad days, I could think, dang. I know Kanye's slaying that cake. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't I know. Even his slay. It's just, I have America's royal family power couple that I can just look at and be like, well, I'll hear from them within a couple days. Something will go down and I'll hear about it and it'll be entertaining. See, but now it's like, what am I going to do? The difference in your example, though, is like, you know, oh, God save the queen. It's one single entity. What you're. Uh, idolizing is the relationship, not the individual people in said relationship. It'd be like if Meghan Markle and Prince Harry got divorced. Like, God, I it's a separation so. of the royal family. It's like if Kate Middleton and the bald one got divorced. It's like it's... if Kate Middleton fucking killed her husband. <laughs> <laughs> the bald she couldn't one. Take his, yeah, because she couldn't take his stupid receding hairline anymore. More power to you. So I think what the issue here that we're seeing between the the royal family TM in uh, old London town and the American royal family is that they just got more players in the game over there. So we need to like, what about like John and Kate plus eight or whatever? Like that's a lot of that's a lot but of that's plate not spinning. a royal family though. Like you can mm. look at like the Kardashian family and then Kanye West and be like, that's American royalty. Like they are yeah. top of the food mm-hmm. chain fucking iconic superstars that's a bit fucked up in it but where do where do we now place our uh our ire i don't know that's what i'm so bummed out about what who who is next in line who gets the throne who right, gets the yeah. throne of america's royalty isn't it mm-hmm. isn't it just elon and grimes no neither of them well grimes wait is grimes canadian or american I have no idea. Uh, I don't but think Elon she's is not American. Yeah. Neither of them are American. That's true. That's um, true. See, there's no one. They were the perfect American royal family. And now so it's what, gone. What if we put it on what if we put it on Jay-Z and Beyonce then? Oh, no one gives a shit about what Jay-Z thinks. That's true. I don't care about Jay-Z, but Beyonce is she can be America's queen, I feel like. Okay, I like that. What about Obama and Michelle? They no, already that's... did it. They already did the damn thing for real, though, kind of, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want... No, I don't want that. I want it to be someone, like, wicked cool. You don't want it to be a political monarchy. No. You want it to be, like... Uh, uh... I want it to be a fashion monarchy. There you go. Okay. And Jay-Z don't have any fashion. What about them Duck Dynasty boys? They still quacking around somewhere? Could we, could we bring them back up? They got their show canceled for being extremely racist. Who would have guessed? Is that <laughs> Who would have thought? Is that really why? I think it was also homophobic too. Yeah, it's it's like who would have thought that the very old men who live in the fucking backwoods, the armpit of the United States of America, and their profession is being like cranky, funny rednecks who go hunting. Hey, who would have thought they had some ill-fitting opinions on homosexuals? I, who, who, who would have thought they'd say some off-colored shit, huh? <laughs> I would have never guessed. Never, ever in a million years. But, like, now the royal family's fragmented. So, there's... Maybe that's we used just to have, We used to have Travis and Kylie and then Kanye and Kim. No one gives a shit about whatever Courtney or whatever the fuck her name is. No one gives a who shit saved, about the older Who saved one. the world with a good Pepsi? That was that um, kinda, uh, uh, Kendall, Kendall. 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 Kendall saved the world with yeah, Pepsi. Kendall Jenner. She didn't save the world. She just stopped the police from killing people. For like 30 seconds. I vote that we put our 
good graces in someone who I actually fucking know all of. Like, I don't know if people in England are like, I don't know who the fuck the members of the royal family are. Like, I don't know if, if they are also confused. But if the Kardashians are ours, I don't know what's going on in that family. Can we get one that's a little bit easier and, in fact, more interesting to sort of read about and and be a part I of? I think it's extremely interesting to read about them because it it none, none of it matters, and it's all dumb, and that's what I want out of a royal family. Like, the queen, fucking boring. Super fucking boring and doesn't wear Yeezys. Kanye but West is hot. Very fucking cool. Very good at everything he does, except he running for president. Cool? Very fucking cool and wears is Yeezys. He? Well, yeah, he does. Okay, so it's cool that he wears his own yeah. clothing. Like, that's, so the that's queen? cool. And, and his sort of statements that he makes are very cool, you'd say. I said other than him running for president. That, that one's not cool. Okay, I have one for you. Tom Hanks. Yeah, no. I was about to say that, but then I was like, well, no one really knows. Like, no one's hot, like, hot on his wife in terms of, like, knowing who she is in the cultural zeitgeist, you know? It's Rita Wilson, right? Does Tom Hanks wear Yeezys? He might. We he don't could. know that one for sure. Like, instead of the queen wearing her crown and having bad fashion, I liked having knowing that when I went to bed every night, I could imagine... Kanye putting on a diamond encrusted Yeezy, that's his version of a crown, and having cool style and then going to bed in furs. The queen doesn't do any cool shit like that. I think our our definitions of um cool are very different from each other. Extremely Look, different. All I'm saying is that Kanye made Watch the Throne. The Queen hasn't put out one single album in her, like, 180 fucking years on Earth. She did kill Diana, though. Yeah. That she was did kill Diana. Wild. However... Was, yeah, yeah, thanks for stopping yourself on that day and not saying cool. <laughs> Kanye did kill 50 Cent's career, which is pretty cool. It, okay, that's up there. Mm -hmm. That was more of a character assassination than anything. Yeah, it was a character assassination, but it was like clear cut. They didn't have to go to trial for it because everyone was like, damn. We didn't need to have the fucking. <laughs> was, we didn't need to hire a car to hit a taxi at an incredible speed. Right. It was just the court of public opinion. Exactly. So like, Tay, tell me right now, who's cooler, Kanye West or the Queen? I'm going to go with the queen. I'm also going to ah. go with the queen. Bullshit. Immortality, Zero style. Immortality no is albums. way cooler than whatever the fuck Kanye is doing. Zero style. No Grammys. The queen doesn't even have a Grammy. Are you? T she is a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking Adele, God. Adele. <laughs> if we're going by that, like Adele has like 20 Grammys. Why don't they let Adele be the queen? Then maybe we would get somewhere. Well, Tyler, that's suggesting that monarchies are created by talent, which isn't the case. No, it's God-given. Unless you have a talent like for words where you can get a bunch of people to kill the current regime for you. Yeah, but the monarchs in power right now, like their lineage famously isn't good with words. That's why they made the Oscar-winning picture in 2014 called The King's Speech. Because he was notoriously bad at speaking. <laughs> I want to walk that one back. What? It's true. Uh, Dude was bad at speaking. Oh, they made God. a whole fucking movie about it. I don't think you realize. I'm gonna it was the best picture. I'm going to sit in this dead air and let Tyler think about yeah. this. Because anything we're going to throw up there, he's going to go, not Kanye, and dig deeper and deeper and deeper with no solution. <laughs> so let's just let him sit with his thoughts for a while no, and see where this goes. I was going to go more on the, on the fact that, like, oh, he doesn't speak well. Tyler, he had a speech impediment. It's not that he doesn't speak well. It's that he has, like, a condition, and we shouldn't make fun of that, you fucking monster. I'm not making fun of it. I'm just saying it's famous, and they made a fucking Oscar-winning picture of it. I I still don't think your heart's in the right place when saying that kind of shit. <laughs> like, he can't help. That's like saying, I don't fuck well. It's just because I don't have a big dick. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> it's a condition. I mean, I suppose if you want me to walk it back, I'll walk it back. 
I want you to offer me one fucking solution to this whole problem that you've brought on that is the most anti-problem like, of all time. <laughs> Tyler, that- you know you know that you were talking to the two like least plugged into popular culture on that level people. That- you don't need to be plugged into into the popular culture. What I'm suggesting is that we either have to make America's royalty extremely lame to match up with London town, ye old London town, or we have to make the queen extremely cool. I'll just have her do a kickflip. Problem solved. And w- wait, could we just vote on looks? Like, can we just have a hot fucking king? Because that would at least make it more, and it, and it would be something different than like, think about the magazine where it's like, hottest man in America or hottest man alive or whatever. And it's like Blake Shelton. Like what? No one fucking thinks that. Like no one thinks that do let's get Brad Pitt in there. Do you think is that, (laughs) is that suggesting that we do it every year? Like those magazines, like we get a new king every year. Yeah. Cause it, cause it's more of an honorary title. I think we should just have it as a writer question on our, uh, presidential elections. Like, you know, who do you want to be president? <laughs> oh, it just says king, question mark? <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, who do you want to be president? Democrat, Republican, blah, 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 blah. But at the very end, after all the other circles that you fill in, it just says, who do you think is the, is the king? Who do, you, who do you think is the hottest man alive? Uh, you see, I don't trust America to do that because we still have, like, 40 million votes every year that say Bart Simpson or Mickey Mouse. So mm-hmm. I don't think it's 40 million there, bud. It's like but, in the but also, millions. Minnesota had a pretty high population of people who did select Kanye West. And you're from Minnesota and you're now suggesting Kanye West was king. So you're part of the problem. Yeah, you are a thousand percent part of Tyler. Tyler, hey, I didn't vote for him for president. I'm saying Tyler. King? Yes. You voted for Joe Exotic. Tyler, did you just use whiteout on president and write in king and then Kanye? No, no. I was I was responsible with my ballot. I voted twice to ensure that I I made the right choice. I fucking knew it. Yep. Stop the steal. I'm saying president, that's that's another thing. That's like prime minister. Like that's someone who's like going to fucking do shit. But when it's like the royalty, fuck yeah. It's it's n- whatever the fuck you want because they yeah, don't have any real power. They're just that's entertainment. What I'm thinking. Do full write in. Like it can be whoever you think is hot. It can be whoever you think is like fun. Like maybe one year we just give it to Dave Ch- Dave Chappelle and we're like, you've done some funny work. You go up there now for a year. You're now king. I'm just worried about the American public being able to pick a king because either they treat it like a joke and then we end up with Gilbert Gottfried as king. But you just said king doesn't matter. Yeah. So why can't it be a no, fucking but, joke, man? But if it's supposed to be the hottest. If it's supposed to be the hottest, everyone's going to vote like, oh, yeah, who's the hottest person in America? Uh, Brad Pitt. I don't think people would do that because they would want it to be a big funny joke and they'd have it be the dude from Boardwalk Empire, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Or or it'd be like Kevin James. (laughs) (laughs) But they wouldn't write in Kevin James. They would write in Paul Blart Mall Cop. Of course they would. (laughs) <laughs> Lightning McQueen. I'm writing down Lightning McQueen in my write in for King of America. <laughs> now, if you write it, if you write in a uh, a fictional character who's not at least portrayed on screen by a real person, like it can't be an animated character that's voiced. It has to be someone you actually see on screen. And if you try and submit an animated character, that will be voter fraud and you will be arrested. Oh, you know who could legitimately be America's new queen? If we wanted, like, this is perfect because she parallels the old London town queen perfectly, just with a little bit more of a Yankee spin on her. Oh, yeah, I know who you're going to say. I think it should be Betty White. Yes, (laughs) yes. She's a billion years old. She'll never die. And she's super hot, just like Queen. Yeah, she's super hot, just like the Queen. But she's like the Yankee version of the Queen. She's rebellious. Got a little bit of no style, no Grammys, no Yeezys. This is bullshit. (laughs) This is bullshit. Yeah, well, no one fucking likes Kanye, Tyler. So (laughs) your opinion sucks. We're gonna vote you out. Oh God, twenty one Grammy White on the throne. I'm wait. Does Betty White have an Academy Award? You goddamn know she does. Probably. Does she? 
I'm assuming. I don't think she does. Was she ever in a fucking movie? Everything she's contributed to cinema over the hundred years of her life, career, I mean? Uh, does not have an Academy Award because she's never been in movies. Uh, she's it was won, always she's television. Won, Probably got a bunch of she's Emmys. She's won fri- yeah. five primetime Emmys, two daytime Emmys, uh, and a Los Angeles Emmy. I'm sorry, what's the difference between an Emmy and a Los Angeles Emmy? I thought those were kind of like, aren't they all based in L.A.? That was one pocket of people in L.A. who were like, we love hot in Cleveland. Give it to <laughs> Betty. It was one neighborhood. They just walked around and polled them. All right, fine. They just kind of like <laughs> met, like fucking forged their own Emmy to give to and, her. And, and you're going to be shocked about this extremely white neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, T, I'll I'll. I'll play ball here for a little bit longer. I think justice should be done, and the queen of America should be the sweetheart that is Taylor Swift. No. Think I'm it. chill she with that. Think about it. I, just don't, I just don't like her music. Kanye has fallen from grace. Who better to replace him than the one he fucking true. True. Uh, did that thing to that one time at the Grammys? And she gets up there and like... Uh, that was at the MTV Music Video Awards. Whatever the fuck it was. No, Taylor's going to get up on stage. She's going to grab the microphone and she's going to go, Kanye, I'm not going to let you finish. And then his banner drops off the thing and it's her. Hell yeah. She has banner placed behind it. It's like this big power moment. They like launch off these flares and it's like a wrestling entrance. It's sick as fuck. And then a fucking orchestra plays Fearless. Yeah. I was about to say the climb. Quickly realized that ain't her. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm chill with Taylor Swift being Queen of America. Like, I, I'm a 100% down for it. We've got the Grammys there. America's sweetheart, cool style, storyteller. You know, she puts everyone in their hearts and emotions. And she, she knows how to pull some heartstrings. I'm okay with that. And we, yeah, if, if, if she's going to be Queen of America, then I guess we don't need a king. Mm-hmm. Do, do we want to come up with the rest of the royal court, though? I don't even know what the fuck is in a royal court, and I'm more, I have st- t- Totino sweats so bad. Because <laughs> I, think, I think court jester should be Amy Poehler. No, because that seems like a belittling position, and she's actually great. Okay, I then. I feel like it's got to be someone who's, like, actually just a goof, like, a fucking goofy, but, like, not actually someone who's funny. It's just someone Paul like Blart Mall at. Cop. Paul, Paul, Paul Kevin Blart James Mall Cop. Close, close. Wait, close. What about Dickie Roberts? No, 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 no. No, you, you guys are thinking too small. Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> oh, Tay, was that a fat joke? No, oh, God, wow, no. Wow, we're thinking too small? <laughs> no, it was not. I was just, it was wow. not. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Even then, I think Paul Blart's probably funnier. Yeah, probably. Because he, he does ride the Segway and he falls over. He do fall over. <laughs> I'd laugh. If I was a king and someone did that in front of me, I'd laugh. Yeah. Or or it's got to be someone who like we kind of deep down like, but it is kind of goofy to laugh at him. Like, like Josh Peck or something. Josh Gad. He's or such Josh a Gad. funny snowman. He when he's when he's a little snowman, it's so fucking funny, and I love it. I love it so much. You guys are completely bypassing the very important role of the court executioner. Oh. Swing! Hello and welcome oh. to Sword Watch, our dedicated deviant detail devoted to bring awareness to the dangers of life without swords. My name is Tyler, your host of Sword Watch, and today we have a very frightening and erotic tale Ooh. of sword assaults. As if I couldn't Ooh. climax any harder. Yeah, as if I wasn't already having some nasty, stinky sweat coming out of me. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be more than sweat coming out of you. New Zealand man remains in custody over Viagra fueled samurai sword attack. Hell hmm. yes. Is there any other way to do a samurai sword attack than completely torqued out of your mind? Yeah, I don't think, and and I I think a lot of people hide it well, but no one's ever held a samurai sword and not been hard. When you add Viagra to that fucking uh, situational cocktail, no fucking way that's staying in those Levi's once again. That's what meat sweats are. This blade has been folded a thousand times over, and I'm not talking about my katana. (laughs) <laughs> Cocktana. 
God, that was so fun. God, Here we go. So Start good. reading. Those pizza rolls aren't the only nasty meat you'll see today. <laughs> A Sydney real estate agent accused of attacking a woman with a samurai sword allegedly took four Viagra pills and repeatedly punched another person involved in the incident, a court has heard. Hmm. He took four... Bro, there is no need to take four Viagras. Maybe this was his way out. Like, this is how he ended it. It's just like... Uh, yeah. <laughs> just overdose on Viagra and go on a sword rampage. I don't think you can overdose on Viagra. I think you can. I don't think there's a way. To, it has to be a lot, but you could probably do it. Yeah, you can probably overdose on anything, but I don't think you can take enough Viagra to be like, my dick got so hard, I died. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good way to go, though. Have you guys heard about the, the banana spider? No. Tay. It's from South Tay. America, and if it bites you, you get a boner until you die. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> so that was like, just a fun yeah, fact. It's a little to kind fun of fact I wanted to slide in there. Tyler, shut up. Tay, do you have any more of those? Well, let me let me tell you, it was extremely graceful the way you slid in yeah. with that little fun fact. Anytime. It didn't throw off any momentum. Now let's stop and talk about how, like, let's step outside the bit there for a second. And, like, typically I wouldn't <laughs> be on board with that, but, like, that one was like so good that I have to like step outside the bit here and mention like that was a good fun fact. And I certainly <laughs> hope I don't have to fucking redact it in the edit because you heard something one time and it was wrong. No, it's from the oatmeal who had an entomologist friend who said that. Uh, you got it from the oatmeal man? Yeah. The Quaker guy? No. You can't trust a fucking word he says. No. He makes bad soupy oats. Not that, not that oatmeal guy. Also, are we a deconstructionalist podcast? We're not. <laughs> Tay, you're the only one who is. You are. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's really break down the bit. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> if I had four Viagras and a samurai sword right now, you'd be king of America. <laughs> I would murder you. This will be. Don't you fucking speak. <laughs> this will be fun to play back. In Don't court. you fucking speak. Balmain realtor Carl a Aiden Howard was reprimanded in custody yesterday until at least April 8th after he allegedly tried to murder a 29 year old woman on Monday. The alleged samurai sword attack at a home in Annandale came soon after he took a dose of Viagra and began trying to strangle a 27-year-old also in the residence. They said a dose of Vi Viagra. They say a dose, but then it's four? That's not that's a not dose. A Don't dose. try to tell me that's yeah. a dose. You can probably squeak by with half a pill. This, this man was going full torque on this one. So also, he's 40 years old. How bad do you need four Viagras? I think at 40, you probably, like Tay said, a half of one will suffice. Yeah. Unless you have a specific disorder you're working with here, I don't think you need four Viagra. I don't even think a 40 year old would need just the one. Hey, Tyler, stop judging him. Okay. You don't know what he has. Yeah. All right. He seems like a nice man. You don't need to you know, <laughs> yeah. mock him for his ED. He tried killing two people, but he didn't. We all have our demons. The only reason, this is a quote, the only reason for a person to take four Viagra pills before strangling and forcing someone down is he must have had sexual intent, said the women's lawyers. His lawyer has a beautiful counter argument, which is, and when I say beautiful, I mean this man's the biggest piece of shit yeah, in the world. This is really not cool. His lawyer said his client is, quote, currently in the hospital, and he's in a bad way himself, and he's said very little since the incident. Until I can get clear instructions from my client, I obviously can't make sensible comment. He's got various physical injuries of his own. He's undergone surgery, and we're just awaiting outcomes to understand what the doctors say he can and can't do. Dog, I don't give a shit. This guy tried to murder people. 
they're trying to flip sympathy on a man who got a raging hard on and strangled two people. Yeah, fuck that guy. And attacked them with a samurai sword. So like he fled the scene and then hurt hit like got a little boo boo on his shoulder when he was arrested. I'd love to believe he tripped over the curb, landed straight on his hard dick and just bent it. Like just fully <laughs> snapped in half. He broke his dick. God, that would suck. <laughs> sir, sir, you've broken hey! your dick. <laughs> you just hear someone just to embarrass him further once he falls. <laughs> hey, that guy just broke his dick. I heard it snap. Uh, and do you think since he had the four Viagra, it broke kind of like a kind of like a glow stick that you bend too far and it just started like spraying blood out? Yeah, yeah, without hey! question. That guy broke his dick and then came all over. I saw it. <laughs> And then he pissed himself. Funniest shit I've ever seen. So the argument is that like, yeah, I know he attacked them with like a samurai sword and uh, he tried strangling them and then threatened to kill them with a samurai sword. But like he's in the hospital himself right now. So they're basically going like, she's like, hey, I'm really sorry about my friend last night. Like, he said some off-color stuff, but he was really drunk. He, did, he didn't mean anything by it. It's basically that, but for sword crime. With Viagra, yes. Viagra-related it, sword crimes. Band name I called it? Mm, you can have it. Don't, don't want to be within, uh, I don't know, I'd say five and a half inches of that. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, but it's yours. It's a very unfortunate circumstance, his lawyer said. Yeah, I'd one say. completely perpetrated by him. I think he's worried a lot about losing his job. Oh my fucking god, dude. Yeah, fucking... I would I would hope that's the least of it. No, yeah, his job was a real estate agent. Capitalist fucking nightmare we live in. A uh, guy can't even go on the sword rampage and not worry about work and feeding himself the next day. Look, I'm just saying if he's do- if he's doing a house showing and then attack two people with a samurai sword after taking four Viagras, that's the worst house showing ever. Like you or, could just do a virtual tour. Now, if it was just the four Viagra, might be the best house showing ever. Well, never, no, I we'll see that all know. the time on Pornhub, and it's never the best house showing. No, I learned that they aren't even real agents. Yeah, imagine if your realtor, when you're looking at a new house just had a rockin' boner the whole time. And, like, you didn't talk about it, but, like... But I had that meat vision the entire time. (laughs) Mm -hmm, I'm looking at that hog tucked into them Levi's, and I'm thinking, I got some meat sweats right now. That dude took at least two Viagras. And then then you look up, and he's already looking at you, and he just shakes his head with a little smirk and just throws up a little, little deuce. And then after you leave, you can make fun of him with your significant other or roommates that you will be living with. I wouldn't talk behind about people behind their back. That's oh, rude. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? No, that seems pretty rude. Anything I had to say to him, I'd say to his face. I'd say, how many Vi... Like, is that is that all natural? Or do you take something for that? <laughs> all natural. Is that natural? Are you working with something natural down there? He's like, no, it's 2 p.m. I'm always rock hard at 2 p.m. That's oddly specific. Sorry, just the way it works. Howard fled the home after the pre-dawn attack and was arrested in a nearby street, and that's where he sustained his injuries. Mm -hmm. The two women are physically unharmed, which is good, and he will be held until April 9th when his court hearing is. And again, they're just trying to say, like, well, he's got various physical injuries of his own, so... Do they mention at all how he sustained his injuries? Yeah, he was he sustained his injuries while being arrested. Okay. Um, what's also great is that his employer isn't releasing him just yet. Their quote is We expect a high standard of personal conduct a personal conduct from our members. We do not condone violence in any form. We are concerned for the well being of all involved. And we are looking into the matter as related to our staffing. Love Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that someone is going to represent him, and you know, there's no, but that's his. Represent- 
that's his company that's saying that. That's not like oh, the lawyer dear that's saying God. that. Oh, dear God. That's okay, his company. No, Bro, the... just say nothing or say he's fired. I don't know at that point. That's the most secure job in the fucking world. Yeah. And it's, not even, it's not even like he's an executive at a company. He's a real estate agent. All he, He's just an independent contractor underneath a like a, a larger like named company. They might so be just different in leave. Australia. Like They might operate differently. They might not be like independent contractors in Australia. But if trying to attack two people at a house showing with a samurai sword after taking four Viagras yeah. isn't a fireable offense, I don't know what is. It seems pretty easy to cut ties with the crazy the crazy man who yeah. does have yeah. big boner and samurai sword. And you should cut that tie heavily, severely, and yeah. with one big stroke from a, from a sword of your very own which obviously now you need to keep with you yeah. at house showings because well, fuck, if you if you live in fucking australia you should keep a sword on you at all time because they got crazy shit over there mm. they got big ass spiders hey did you know there's something called a banana spider <laughs> who like if it bites you you get a boner until you die like that's pretty crazy yeah. now that's how you f- see that's how you fit that in without without going at, you see you see you can you can do that. You can weave it in there. I don't understand. I weaved my little spider web for you there. And that has been Sword Watch, our dedicated deviant detail devoted to bring awareness to the dangers of life without swords. Please keep a sword with you at all house showings in case your real estate agent tries to attack you. You pull out a sword of your very own. Now you're engaged in mortal combat. Mm-hmm. I think you got a good chance. It's 2v1 most of the time. Unless they do bring back up. That's a concern, but it's probably a low percentage. But I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> they might oh, have, like, a... Oh, yeah, like Chip and Joanna. Like, yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah. might... Or the Property Brothers. Then you're Oh, my God, oh, the shit. Property Brothers would be fucking unstoppable. If they're coming at me with boners, I wouldn't know whether to be scared or horny. They would have, like, one katana that's, like, a white blade with a black handle, and the other one would be, like, a left handy with, like, a black handle and a white blade. For like yin and and yang they're combo. twins. They share the same thoughts. They are already planning out their next five moves. Yeah, that's not going to go well. You can't break their combo. Mm-mm. No, they're going to be like Sherlock Holmes where like the whole scenario is played out in, in, in the head before combat is even engaged. Yeah, yeah. If Well, that's why you don't do business with the Property Brothers. Like, you want to do business with them because you know if they took four Viagras apiece, you'd be in for a pretty fucking wild weekend. However, <laughs> yeah. there is the off chance that they do have swords, and then the Property Brothers will fucking kill you. Yeah, it's not even the off chance that they have swords. It's the off chance that they use the swords. They always stay strapped. I mean, I'm going to be real with y'all. Four Viagra Property Brothers doesn't sound like a bad weekend. It's not. Oh, no. That's a fuck-filled weekend with those yeah. home fixer-uppers. Yeah. Fucking renovate my basement, Daddy Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the, the one who does all the renovating is definitely going to be real real mus- muscly. Yeah, they both are, because they're both fucking hunks, okay? You think <laughs> Jonathan isn't rocking a fucking six-pack under that suit? He is. Like, no he, he is. He works out. He works out at the library. No, he works and he works out in the fucking gym. Okay, in his fucking dojo as well. Hey Tyler, do you think that the Property Brothers, when they're about to do a showing, do you think that when they're like prepping the home to make it as inviting for the potential buyers as possible, they do put on uh, like the, they bring a record player and they put on their own country album to like. Oh wait, oh, they you, have a country. They have a country album. Oh, you oh, fucking they know they do. You know they do. Uh, that that knocked a point off for me. Are you kidding? I want them to yodel into my <laughs> asshole. That's <laughs> a lot. That's a lot to hear. Knock from you. down my fucking walls, daddies. <laughs> Make me your sheath, samurai. Uh who? Oh. oh, why don't you renovate these pipes? Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, kitchen island. Oh, yeah, on the kitchen (laughs) island. We're going to put an island there and then fuck me on it. Oh, the deal is closing. That's that's the (laughs) last home. home I was about to do something with like, oh, I'm about to go 35,000 over asking price or something. But then I just realized I don't want to continue this. 
<laughs> yeah, I know you don't. But I want my kitchen cabinets painted white with the Property Brothers come. Oh my god. Yeah, knock out my walls, Jonathan. It's Drew. <laughs> it's either of them, Tyler. Yeah, it's either or. We're not even sure there is two of them. True. There could, could just, just be, be one of them moving real fast. It could be green screen technology. Yeah. Like in Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. Wait, that There's was actually two what? Lindsay Lohans. Yeah, I thought what? for sure there were two Lindsay Lohans. What happened to the second one after that movie? They killed her. Have you ever seen <laughs> The Prestige? <laughs> you ever seen o- Old Yeller? <laughs> you ever see The Prestige? What happens with all the clones? He kills them. Never seen Herbie fully loaded with the director's cut where they get into a terrible accident? That's what happened to the second one. The second one was the stunt double, usually. Yeah. She flipped Herbie. Oh, no. <laughs> Herbie did not have an airbag. <laughs> Why would close. he? He was, an old, he was an old beetle. They didn't make airbags in the 50s. If you got... Plus, cars probably went, what, like 40 miles an hour in the 50s? It well, fucking, he was race cars, so he's going like 60. They had to soup him up specially. Like in the 50s when that car was made, they probably didn't hit over 40. Like you were never going to fly out of the windshield. Do you think when they took all the time to to fully load Herbie that he was like, <laughs> why are you, why would you do this? I'm not safe to drive anymore. Like I'm a beat dog. Let me die. Why are you doing this? <laughs> why to, are you what fully are you loading to prove? me? I don't want to be fully loaded. Herbie, are you ready for the big race? <laughs> What do you expect us to say after that? What do you want us to do with that? I don't know. I just... I am unbullyable. I am unbullyable. We plan to bully me, and I just fucking deflect. First it was to Tori, then it's to Tay. I wear fucking... There is no kryptonite. I'm Superman, baby. You can't bully me. It's not kryptonite. I I wouldn't say you're bulletproof. I'd just say it's ego. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if that's not fucking bulletproof, I don't know what is. Like, we See, could shoot holes through your body, and you would just talk about how you have crazy bulletproof skin as you're yeah. bleeding out. Yeah, <laughs> because I weigh 175. You think that fucking hurt? No, it didn't. Uh, it probably just went through the fat, huh? Yeah. More like it bounced off my fucking muscles because I just flexed, and then the bullet ricocheted back at you. Boom, now you're dead. What are you going to do? Tyler, what do you expect us to say after that? <laughs> I don't know what you expect us to say after our rant about how you're so perfect and unbullyable. I'm undefeatable. I'm UFC 2009 undisputed and undefeated. I mean, I don't want to take any low blows here, but like I was wearing a force shield, so boom, body armor up. <laughs> you can't hit me. Uh-uh, I didn't get tagged. You got tagged. Uh, it's it's no tag backs. Riot shields like, are OP, we like dude. To- we like to poke fun at like little quirks that we have, like how I derail bits and how Tori eats pizza pockets. Like we that just famous can't... quirk of mine. Nah, that famous. <laughs> I, you know, I can't, I can't remember a time when Tori hasn't been eating pizza pocket. Like every time I go over to that boy's house, it's like, hold on, I got, I got another batch in the oven, and I'm just finishing this one. It's just, con- it's a cycle. He puts them in, shits them out. Puts them in, shits them out. Because, like, you don't do anything, Tyler. You just, you're unemployed. You <laughs> sit around playing video games all day. Like, what do you do? Yeah. Like, we can't make fun of someone who doesn't do anything and also has a tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, I mean, we could say the same for you. Like, what do you do? You go between your office and your house, and then you play video games. Yeah, but that's just I what do I things. do, but with extra unnecessary steps. Yeah, well, I stream every two. I'm streamlined, two, though. I'm fucking streamlined. If my process is just fucking chilling, you're just chilling with extra steps involved. I am doesn't the, take care of the tiny penis. Thing. I have the perfect highway of laziness. Yeah, the oh, tiny so penis admit. thing. Yeah, the tiny penis thing. I won't dispute. Like, I, I know you want me to fight back at that one, but like, what am I supposed to do? Like, it's not like I can stand up to you with my extremely tiny penis. What are we supposed to say after that? Unbullyable. <laughs> can we leave? Poof. Legally? Poof. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Just flexed my pecs. What are you going to do about it? 
I'll give you a little smooch on the cheek. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Now, you did say unbullyable, and then you yourself, with your own mouth, did make sound effects for your imaginary pecs. (laughs) 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 That's what muscles sound like, guys. I, like, fucking swear. Like, I have so many muscles. Don't look. Don't look. Stop looking. What would you... What? Quit deflecting, Tori. What would you do if I went up and just kissed you on the cheek right now, huh? What are you going to do about it? Turn my head at the last second. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. I want those. You have extremely kissable lips. No one's denying that. <laughs> but your breath is real bad, so that kind of detracts it's from It's fucking, the... it's like cat breath. You know how cat's breath always oh smells my like God, tuna? Oh my God, yes! Even though I've never fed my cat tuna, somehow her breath always smells like fucking rancid tuna. Where'd you, yep. How'd you get that? I'll be honest. I've caught a couple whiffs of my own Totino's breath today <laughs> during this recording, and it ain't <laughs> I was going to say, nice. today? <laughs> like you ate Totino's for breakfast, too? That's pretty close to human cat food equivalent, so that makes sense. Yeah, no one's denying it's the meow mix of people food, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying I had to get here quick, and I just I feel like Tyler didn't respect my time. Do you ever feel bad, like... That you have to feed your pets the same food, like, every single day. Like, yeah, sure, there's deviations. Like, sometimes they'll get, like, wet food or different food. But you ever feel bad that you're feeding them the same shit every single day? No, they lack the mental capacity for understanding that this is, like, anything but food. Yeah, there's a reason I've never Googled what their taste receptors and stuff are like, because I don't want to know the answer if it's really sad. I'm just going to buy them a high quality food and go, don't die. It just makes me feel bad because it's like they always come, whenever you're in the kitchen cooking something, they always come in and they're like, oh, that smells really good. And I'm like, "Uh, yeah, but this is for me. I love you, (laughs) but like not that much. This is me. I just look at Maury and go, you're too fat. You don't need any of this. Yeah, no. Like, if Maury ate a pizza pocket, I'm pretty sure he'd go into cardiac arrest. No, he wouldn't go into cardiac arrest. He would just develop a liking for it and then only (laughs) want the pizza pockets. (laughs) That's true. He would stop eating his kibble and just just demand that I do air fry him some pizza rolls every day. (laughs) He'd flip his bowl of kibble and then look at Tori like, are you fucking serious? What the fuck is this? There's no mozzarella leaking out of this. I don't even see any little bits of pepperoni. This is garbage! You know, like Gordon Ramsay? Your cat turns into Gordon Ramsay. Guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Hold on, hold on. That's good. I try so hard. Hold on, that's good. What if your cat turned into Gordon Ramsay? That's a good rich vein. <laughs> I don't think it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> The well is kind of dry this week, fellas. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> well, we can leave. At any point, we can hit the ripcord now. We can leave. We can leave, Tay. Do you want to leave, Tay? I I don't know. Like, Let's leave. I, I want to give the people what they want, though, you know? And they want us to leave. Thank you oh. so much for listening to Baseless Claims. Uh... You know what? You can go ahead and check us out on any of the available platforms. We are quite literally every single fucking place you could possibly think of. And while you're in those places, hey, you're already there. Why don't you do us a, hey, me and you right now, do me a quick little favor, huh? How about you hit that little thumbs up or that little heart or that like button? Why don't you maybe leave a rating? Uh, that would really help us out, you know, give us a little boosty boost. Come on, you're already there. Why don't you help Tell us out? Tell to follow us on whatever podcast platform. Yeah. Why don't you give us a follow there, too? Come on, you're already there. It's just one click away. It's just one click. Tell them about the YouTube channel. And Twitter, too. Okay, do you guys just want me to do the whole outro, then? Or... Give them the whole outro. Yeah, that's why we're yelling from the behind the studio. Uh, Okay. We've already left. Can you lock up when you leave? Yeah, yeah, I'll be sure to lock up. Thank you. Come on, you're already on that page. Just hit that follow button. That little like button. That little review button. You don't have to type out anything meaningful. Just say is good or some shit like that. Come on, do it for me. Do it for me. Come on, do it for me. Anywho, we also have Twitters that you can check out individually. We also have at Shapeless Media on Twitter that you can check out. Hey, where's all of our other content? 
that's going to be right on YouTube at the same name, at Shapeless Media. We have tons and tons of hours of footage, videos, funny shit, serious shit. We got tons of shit for you. Why don't you check it out? You're bound to find something you like. And hey, one more thing. We also have a Discord that we just started. So that's going to be on our YouTube channel as well. You'll see that in the community post. Why don't you hop on over? Enjoy a good time with us. Come on. Join me for a good time. Only after you hit that like button, though. Come on, just do it for me. I know you want to. Just be so fucking filthy. Hit that like button. Ugh. Yeah, I know you did it right there. I could feel it. I felt you hit that like button. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. God. I opened my mouth a little bit. <coughs> yeah, you, you really went for that one, didn't you? Ooh. Yeah. Well, you guys told me to lock up. If you want to give us some money, though, you could also go to www.poddex.com and use code SWORDWATCH all one word at checkout to get 10% off your first order of this lovely podcasting accessory that has all sorts of different decks of cards you could use for episode topics, funny things, would you rather, just crazy wacky stuff that's going to be just a, a hell of a lot better than whatever the fuck we talk about on this show, you know? I mean, it's not, but like, it'll give us money. So, no, Tori, legally, Tori, I do have to say it's really good. Tori, Tori, we just yeah. talked about this problem yesterday. Is we're not clear enough about pod decks and what they are. So, I think what we have to do now is spend 10 minutes explaining in Dear excruciating God. detail. Thanks, Meg. What are pod decks? Meg, this is for you. Pod decks. This was an interesting case. It was supposed to be my last one on the job. She waltzed in with the energy of a woman who had a mission, but no destination. A client came in, heartbroken young woman, telling me, I started a podcast. I don't know what to do. I went out searching. I did all the work. I researched. I followed all leads, clues I could possibly find. Everything led to a dead end. But then, a cigarette lit in the darkness. A shadowy figure emerges. Hey, bud. You ever heard of Pod Dex? <laughs> Pod Dex, I said. <laughs> that seems like a far fetched case. It's not as far fetched as you think. You see, Pod Dex, they're gonna give you topic suggestions, interview questions, funny things to talk about if you start your very own podcast. It's a real helpful tool for anyone out there who wants one. Your client? The mystery woman? She wants to start her own podcast? Well, I recommend that she go to www.poddex.com. Hey, I'll throw you another bone, detective. Why doesn't she use code SWORDWATCH at checkout? That way, she gets 10% off her first order. And if anyone asks, you never saw me. He disappeared into the wind. The smoke hanging in the air all around him almost as if he evaporated into it. I walked back to the office. The woman was gone. Left in the chair was a single pod deck card that read, Would you rather be able to erase people's memory or predict their future? I could have never predicted this case would turn out like this. But then again, podcasts are never so simple. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel physically sick. I need to go to bed.